So today I want to do a little quick blog, just while I'm in the middle of my video teaching today, um, talking about Brass Gym and a very quick idea on Brass Gym. So Brass Gym is something that we use in a couple of the um, Learn to Play P Trumpet books, Learn to Play P Bone books, and um, basically what it is, it's going between the three harmonics. So going high, middle, low, and then working down the valve combinations. So it's a really good warm up, it's a really good way to get started, a really good way to get strength and to build strength and all that kind of thing. But I was thinking, you know, what else is there to do with it? You know, obviously it's, it's brilliant and it's the kind of key of our instruments, the kind of core of everything that we do on this thing. You know, we're going between the brass gem, we're going between the harmonics all the time. So going back to the P bugle, fantastic P bugle, absolutely love this. Now obviously there is a couple of tunes available for P bugle where you can improvise along and, and all that, which they are absolutely fantastic. They're great. And um, there's funky and dancey and a couple of others. Um, but I decided to do something a little bit different with it. So, as I'm always playing around with these instruments and the P-Buzz and things, so I put together a classic kind of showpiece that's used in brass bands and things. It comes from Germany, and it's called the Post Horn Gallop. Now, I've, sh I've shifted it around and created a backing track, which I'm going to tag onto the end of this for you. Um, and it basically, it just gives you something very fun to play on the P-Bugle or just on your trumpet without pressing any valves. So, it goes... <laughs> low, middle, high, and then so it's a one tune that lasts for about three or four minutes and it only uses three notes. It covers some great things, it covers the strength and the work of the embouchure here and it also covers that tongue in on that low C which can be a bit difficult. So it does cover a lot. The last thing I want to talk about here is my history with it because I do have a little bit of history with um, the post horn gallop. So I'm just going to cut into another little thing here so when I was doing my family genealogy, on my father's side, um, we go back to a place called Isle Brewers, um, down in, like, I think the south, south coast of England. Um, and I came across this guy, uh, Robert Snook. He is, like, my fourth or fifth time's great-granddad. Um, and really interesting. Somebody actually contacted me through Ancestry.com and said, you've got some really interesting history coming up. Um, and basically, my granddad... Robert Snook, or Robert Snook, was the last highwayman to be hung in England. And um, so how does that relate to the post-horn gallop? Well, the post-horn gallop, you would have played the post-horn, and it was really so that when the post came, it meant that the post, postman didn't stop. He could quickly get on to the next thing so he didn't get robbed by people like my granddad. Um, so here's a picture of him that I found as well um, in action. So I hope you enjoyed the post-horn gallop. Um, I will be up here, I won't be kind of uh, robbing anybody. So have fun with it, and I uh, look forward to doing another video blog soon.